How are your time management skills? You know, time management is actually a myth. There's no such thing. None of us have the superhuman power to manage time. We all get 24 hours in our day, no more, no less. And none of us have the ability to stretch it out to make it last longer or speed it up to make it go faster. No, but we do have the ability to manage our choices on how we spend our time. Now, so often when we get to the end of the day and we realize, ah, oh, we didn't get to all those things on our to-do list and I had all these distractions in the day. Well, that is a key step in taking back control of your time. Number one, identify distractions. So what are the things that distract you from the task that you're trying to focus on? Is it you get lost in checking your email or you, you know, open up the stock market and see how your stocks are doing or you're surfing the web or maybe you just want to check social media real quick. Identify what are the things that distract you from what you were supposed to be focusing on. Number two, make it harder to get to those things. So log out of all of your accounts close all of your browsers and the windows on things that you're not working on currently. If you can make it harder to get to that distraction, you probably aren't going to waste your time in even looking at it. So make it harder to get to them. Number three, set a timer. When you do decide that you are going to spend some time engaging in those activities that you know are a little distracting, those are the things that you want to make sure that you set a timer because I bet you've seen where you've said, oh, I'm just going to go check social media real quick. And then you look up and an hour has gone by. Well, if you know you're going to do something that is engaging and it's a little bit of a distraction, set a timer. However many minutes you want to spend on that activity, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes, whatever it is, set a timer. And then when the timer goes off, get back to the task at hand. And number four, batch your activities or group like activities together. So here's a great example. Let's say you pay your bills online. Now, one way you could do it is you could log into your bank account every day, check to see what bills are coming up due, schedule a payment, and then log back out. Or you could pick a day of the month, go into your bank account and schedule all of your bills to be paid at the correct time once and be done. When you batch like activities together, it makes you so much more efficient and productive. Use these tips to make better choices in how you spend your time because once time is spent, you never get it back. For more tips like this, like us and follow Retail Level Up on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and search for Retail Level Up on your favorite platform to get your podcasts. And when you visit RetailLevelUp.com, be sure to sign up for our email subscription. We send Monday Motivations and Top Tip Tuesdays because all of us can use a little extra motivation and we can certainly use some top tips. Because now, even more than ever, it's time to level up.